Can I ask you something as a professional? Sure, go ahead. Are you sexually active? Am I? No, don't be embarrassed. This is my field. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. You're a divorced woman raising a son on her own. I'm sure your opportunities are limited. Well, no one is lining up. No, don't do that to yourself. You're a fantastic woman. They should be lining up for you. Well, thank you. Listen, I'm going to make a recommendation, and I want you to keep an open mind. Is your mind open? Open enough. There are excellent services for women. Charlotte, no. Hear me out. It's a whole new world out there. There are a lot of highly accomplished women like you who choose to pay for it. Lawyers, corporate consultants, company heads. Ah, uh, really? Of course. These women work all the time. They work 24-7. Their relationships with men are competitive. They need a release with someone whose only objective is to please them. Hmm, sounds intriguing, but not for me. Why? I don't know. Sex is a very intimate act. So is getting a massage. I don't think you can make the comparison. Have you ever had a male masseuse? Sure. Were you naked under the towel? Yes. Did you fantasize while he was touching you? I was focused on the knots in my neck. Be honest, doctor. While he was working his way down your back, didn't you have a passing thought? Just a small secret hope that he would go further? You don't need to answer me. I wasn't planning to. I know you think I just crossed a line, but you have my trust, you have my gratitude, and if you want it, you have my friendship. Thank you, Charlotte. I'm going to write down a number for you. His name is Matthew, and he's a colleague of mine, and he is one of, he works for one of the top agencies for women's services and is considered one of the best in his field. He's very skilled, very professional, very caring. He's also a cleanliness freak like me. Charlotte, I'm not going to do this. Just hold on to the card, doctor. Tuck it away somewhere. No one will ever need to know.